three super common mistakes that I often see people make with the law of attraction. If you're still waiting for something to manifest, you're not sure if you're doing it right, keep watching because you may discover that there's a little tweak you can make that could help everything to start flowing faster for you. Welcome back to another video, or if you're brand new, my name is Lucy, and on this channel, I share all kinds of things about personal development, spirituality, and how to become the best version of you. So, the first common mistake that I see people make is when people use negative wording in their scripting letters, in their affirmations, in what they're trying to manifest. Let me give an example. Somebody showed me their scripting letter and said that one of the affirmations they say to themselves every day, one of the things they write on their scripting letter is, nobody can stop me from accomplishing my goals. Now, at the risk of sounding like one of those people that's like the word police, you know, when, when you get really obsessive with the law of attraction and you're not allowed to say this word and you're not allowed to say that word, I'm not saying you're not allowed to say these words. When there's too many rules and you're, watching every word that comes out of your mouth, that doesn't help, that doesn't get you into the sort of effortless, abundant flow of the universe. But just think with me for a minute about this person, I don't know who they are, when they shared with me that they said, nobody can stop me from accomplishing my goals. Like, I get it, 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 it there's something powerful about it, but can you kind of guess like where this person's at, where they've been, where their mindset is? I kind of feel like this person may have been oppressed, may have had some haters, may have had some people say, you can't do that. And I commend this person for doing their best to fight the good fight against these people and have success no matter what. Like, great, but there's a lot of like uh, resistance, negative energy. You know, sometimes it can fuel you. Sometimes the best form of revenge can be success. Or sometimes if you're in a really difficult situation and you can use it as a, as a fuel to your fire to get your butt moving and to change your life, that's great. But if we were looking to use the law of attraction in the mix, then saying nobody can stop me from accomplishing my goals, I feel like a lot of the focus is on the fact that there are people trying to stop you and that it's going to be this this journey where you're kind of going against what people are saying and i just feel like that's a very kind of as abraham hicks would say you you do you want to be like sailing your boat upstream or downstream and some thoughts are upstream thoughts where you're really kind of like going against the flow you could think the same concept you could affirm the same thing in a much more downstream way for example i'm accomplishing my goals quickly and easily everyone supports me as i create my dream life you can affirm that you're in an environment where everyone's supporting you if that's a thing which it sounds like it is for this person why not manifest an easier route for it to happen the next mistake I find people often do is when something hasn't manifested miraculously and exactly to the plan that you had in your head, a lot of people just throw in the towel. I get messages from people saying, I wrote my scripting letter and it didn't work. And I'm like, how do you know it hasn't worked? How do you know it couldn't pop into your life? It's not right around the corner or that these detours that you're experiencing, the loss of a job, maybe it's to open a door for a new one for your dream career or to to give you the time that you've been saying you don't have enough of to build that business or whatever, right? So just because things might not be unfolding exactly to the plan that you had in your head, still trust. What kind of message is that putting out to the universe if at the first um, sign of something unfolding in a way that's slightly not to your exact plan, you, you throw in the towel and you think it's not gonna happen, it's not working. And then immediately you're focusing on how it's not happening. It's just another indication of where this person's mindset is. If at the first hurdle they say to me, it's not working. It's like, well, were you kind of looking for it not to work? Were you kind of almost predicting that it wouldn't work? Then you you got the wrong idea. You got the wrong end of the stick completely. Expect it to happen. Trust 
that it's happening. Enjoy the unfolding. Be grateful for the detours in the right direction. When things don't go to your plan, and let's face it, things often don't go to our plan, right? In, in my life, there've been many things that didn't go to my plan, but I've been grateful and looked every time or as often as I can remember for what's the lesson? What's the growth opportunity here? If it wasn't for the, you know, maybe this is guiding me to the people that I really need in my life. So that's a, it's completely just a mindset thing. You can choose to see the good in things or you can choose to see the bad. And the third mistake I see people make, and I catch myself doing this sometimes too, is not being in alignment with what you say you want. So for example, if you're wanting to manifest more money, but you're still acting like a broke person, and some of you might be saying, but Lucy, you know, if I don't have enough money to do things, of course I'm gonna be thinking broke and acting broke. Well, it's kind of like what came first, the chicken or the egg? I saw a video that asked the question, which was really interesting. Have you ever heard a rich person talk negatively about money? And have you ever heard a poor, a broke person talk positively about money? You know, maybe that's an indicator that if you want to become a rich and wealthy person, you gotta give up the the story that maybe you were you inherited and when you grow up in a poor environment there is often a lot of negative conversations about money or about rich people being evil or about you know it money being this really difficult and hard to come by and and stressful topic like sympathy to anyone who's been going through that but if you want to change that situation Having that narrative can often almost be a, a, a comfort, right? Because it helps you to sort of justify the, the things that you don't want in your life. Whereas if you are ready to let go of that broke identity and become a rich and wealthy person, be grateful for every pound or dollar or cent in your bank account. And don't call things expensive. Don't call things expensive. Like my recent lesson test from the universe has been booking a holiday and realizing that I can't fly to a country if my passport doesn't have six months left on it. And the holiday is coming up so soon that I need to not only just pay for my new passport, but I need to pay for like the fast track premium service where it gets done as quickly as possible and all of the expenses are now adding up to a point where getting all of the paperwork and the passport is going to cost me as much as the holiday itself and old broke version of me would think oh my god this is so terrible it's all adding up yikes is it really that ex like just can i even justify spending that much money da, 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 da. and like those thoughts are kind of popping up here and there but i'm choosing i'm actively choosing to go it's gonna be great like everything's working out for me and the wealthy version of me would wouldn't even blink an eye at these expenses and you know the best part is i can actually afford it i actually can afford it i could afford it with the income that i made this month but you know, and I'm not saying that in a boastful way, I'm saying that in a grateful way. This is the things I'm counting my blessings, right? And I, you know, I if I need to, I have savings as well. And, you know, going on our first holiday for a year is pretty good reason to dip into some savings, I would say, you know? So it's so sometimes if you're if you are blessed to be in a position like I am where, you know, you could go down the rabbit hole of thinking, oh my god, this is such a disaster and so expensive and yada yada yada. Or you could also just choose to go, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I have enough money. I've got more money on the way. It's great. And guess what? When I sit on the deck chair in the sunshine and get into the pool, it's going to feel that even bit more sweet knowing that I had a bit of an adventure to make it there. So it's really interesting actually that all three of the points that I've mentioned in this video stem from mindset and how you're looking at 
the situation or the subject. Like Abraham Hicks says, every subject is actually two subjects. Accomplishing a goal, you could focus on how hard it is and how everyone's holding you back, but nobody's gonna stop me. Or you could attract the fact that everyone supports you and it's gonna happen so quickly and easily. When it comes to your manifestation unfolding, you could choose to look at it as, oh, it's still not here yet and it didn't go to my plan, therefore it's never gonna happen. Or you could choose to look at it in a more positive way. You could choose to continue to trust. And with that, you maintain the vibration and you don't block it. And finally, how you show up, how you react to things that happen in your life all the time. Again, it's a choice and it's a mindset. So in conclusion, when you change your mindset and it's a daily practice, you can change your life and you can allow the things that you want into your bigger, more open, more abundant, more aligned vessel. Let me know in the comments which of the three points really resonated with you. If you got any value at all, make sure to hit that thumbs up so the algorithm knows that you like this video. And before you go, if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring my bell so that you never miss another video. Until next time, bye.